When talking about automotive innovation, few names resonate as loudly as Tesla, a trailblazing company led by Elon Musk. Now since its inception, Tesla has captivated the world with its bold promise of a future powered by sustainable energy and cutting-edge technology. Now whether they are fulfilling that promise or not can be debated, but more than the promise of a clean future, our boy Elon has also promised the Tesla Roadster, a car shrouded in myth and anticipation, promising to redefine the very essence of speed and performance. Now we first got word of the second generation Roadster back in 2017, and it was supposed to hit the production line in 2020. In fact, it was known by many as the 2020 Roadster. Now that didn't happen, but back then the specs on the car was really impressive, with a 0-60 to time of 1.9 seconds and a top speed of 250 miles per hour. All of this while having a range of 620 miles and only costing $200,000. Now I will say, now in 2024, their top spec plaid has a range of 396 models, if you drive like an old lady. So something doesn't add up there, but let's continue. In 2023, we heard that the Roadster will now end the production in the fourth quarter of this year. But that's not happening either. You see, we have updates on the Roadster yet again. So the latest update from Musk himself confirms that the production version of the Tesla Roadster will be delayed yet again, with the market launch now pushed back to 2025. In other words, we should get the car somewhere before 2030. Anyways, while disappointing to eager enthusiasts, Musk's announcement is accompanied by tantalizing details that hint at the Roadster's potential to redefine the automotive landscape. You see, central to Musk's vision for the Roadster is its mind-bending acceleration capabilities. With a new bold claim of accelerating from 0 to 60 in less than a second, Musk asserts that this feat is the least interesting part of the car. Now, such audacious acceleration figures would firmly establish the Roadster as the fastest accelerating production car in history, beating even the super impressive 2000 horsepower McNavira and by quite a lot. So how is this possible? Well, the key to achieving this unprecedented performance lies in the Roadster's SpaceX option package, which promises to incorporate around 10 small rocket thrusters seemingly integrated around the car. Yes, you heard that correctly. This will be a turbine-assisted electric vehicle. And Musk takes it even further with the suggestion that this technology could enable the Roadster to fly but I think that that should be taken with a grain of salt. But the thrusters could enable it to accelerate really fast, especially in conjunction with the electric motors. However, this does bring up questions. For instance, will this not use the fuel of the devil? Isn't Tesla all about the planet? How will he power his turbines? Also, is it safe? Well, I guess we'll need to wait and see. However, for those of you that do believe in the claim of a 0 to 60 in under a second in a production car, it's crucial to acknowledge the track record of unfulfilled promises and delays that have plagued Tesla under Musk's leadership. From the Roadster's continued delays to even the Cybertruck and its delays. Now, I have made a whole video on Elon and his lies, and I won't get into it, but to sum it up, he tends to promise the world, get money from pre orders, and then under delivers late. Yet despite these concerns, there is no denying the allure of the Tesla Roadster and its potential to revolutionize the perception of cars. I mean, who doesn't like a car with 10 jet engines? And that looks like this. That combined with Musk's assertion that the Roadster will be a transformative experience surpassing even the comforts of home. It all does make the car seem really cool. As the Roadster's official unveiling approaches in late 2024, Anticipation continues to build among enthusiasts and industry observers alike. While skepticism may linger regarding Tesla's ability to deliver on its lofty promises, there is no denying the impact that the Roadster could have on the future of electric mobility if he does pull it off. In the end, whether the Tesla Roadster lives up to the hype remains to be seen. But one thing is for certain, the Roadster, especially the SpaceX version, is not for grass-eating vegans. Jet engines use fuel. And a lot of it. But at the end of this video, please let me know what you thought of the video number one and what you think of this SpaceX version of the Tesla Roadster. Now, I will say, if it does fit it with 10 rockets and it is a street legal car and it does even get close to a second, like a 1.2 seconds 0 to 60 or something crazy like that, 
it's just pretty cool. I will like it. Um, I'm not a fan of Tesla at all. I'm not a fan of Elon Musk either. But the jet engine, thousand plus, almost two thousand horsepower roadster, you, you can't not like it. I do have my skepticisms over all of this actually happening and even being delivered by the year 2030 and being legal on the road. If he does pull it off, I do think it will be cool. But let me know what you think. Um, do you think anything's actually going to happen? Do you think it will deliver on it? Um, do you think the car's going to fly? Because apparently it can do that too. Yeah, let me know down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So if you did like it, just go through my channel. See if there's something else. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.